हरि ओम शारदा मा हरि ओम अंकल देयर इज बिग डिमांड फॉर योर भजन इतने शेष पुट ऑन शी विल सिंग कम सिंग करन नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि घृणामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम आनंदकंदम स्वच्छंद सिंदम उदार बिंदम सदैव बंद्यम आनंद कंदम स्वच्छंद सिंदम पूर्णार बिंदम सदैव बंद्यम नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि मुखार बिंदम पदार बिंदम नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम आशीषतोषम सुहासवासम मधु प्रकाशम भीषविनाशम आशेष तोषम सुहासवासम मधु प्रकाशम विषविनाशम नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि श्रीशं सुरेशं जगदीशमीशं नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम सदा वसंतम हृदि हसंतम श्रीयाल संतम शुभम स्मरंतम सदा वसंतम हृदि हसंतम श्रीयाल संतम शुभम स्मरंतम नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि संसार सारम करुणावतारम नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम मनोभिरामम निकाम कामम स्वयं प्रमाणम पूर्ण पुराणम मनोभिरामम निकाम कामम स्वयं प्रमाणम पूर्ण पुराणम नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि नारायणम च प्रणोमि नौमि नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि नमे प्रणोमि नमस्करोमि घृणामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम नीला त्रिनाथम नमामि नित्यम नमामि नित्यम नीला त्रिनाथम हरि ओम हरि श्री गुरु
the worst condemned person of this world is also bhagwan therefore he has in him the total bliss he is of that nature he is blissful only thing is he choose to focus himself out of that and when you choose to focus yourself out of that you see things that are not there because the mind turn towards that self is self itself that pure consciousness the mind turned away from me acts as a prism just as a prism divides one ray of light into seven beams so also when you turn your mind away from that consciousness the world seems to be split with multiplicity with multiplicity and because of that illusoriness all of us suffer it's not the i i started with saying the worst condemned person it's not that he alone suffers without his knowledge the best saint also suffers without the knowledge how can he be a best saint if there is no knowledge his way of living you know pure clean religious life still taking to studies but knowledge is not complete he will also suffer. he will also suffer. while you are tuned to something finite and when you are tuned to finite when you are tuned to multiplicity you cannot but escape duality plurality split world and therefore fear guilt sorrow anger jealousy all of them come because you see the one to be many the one to be many you see you see them different from me today's class is the essence of the entire rudarinika because that is the subject everybody talks also maitreya brahmana so that's why i started with this introduction so he said doesn't so the whole essence of all upanishads is not only prudarinika prudarinika emphasizes all upanishads is brahma satyam jagan nidhya brahma god the reality alone is there everything else is its own forms apparent like the dream and you know if something apparent is there even uh, you know illusory perceptions there has to be a reality in it there has to be a reality in it without something there you can't even see an illusion there has to be a ghost to see a ghost so don't worry about the world being an illusion it's not real 
just don't worry see that essence in that when you see that essence in that everything is beautiful because that is beautiful satyam shivam sundaram shantam advaitam when you don't see that the same beautiful thing becomes actually there are no two things there are no two things there is only one thing agnischa vignischa jagadeka satyam sri ramana bhagava for both the world is there but agna thinks what he sees is real the vigna sees the real in what he sees right so therefore this supernatural all the time is telling us come see that one truth in all he doesn't say there is there are there are no other thing other than brahman they, there are appearances there are sh- shadows but that's all brahman see that one reality in and through them otherwise please see today certain things i tell you because when you are normally dealing with all of us you were all perfect seeds i am also how many people think that i am such a holy person i only know what i am you understand because if we had none of the defects we wouldn't have been born and if we stay there only the birth is waste so from where we were born we are evolving continuously and when you are evolving at a particular stage god comes in the form of guru and he makes you see the truth then all your confusions have gone and you become a saint you don't become a saint you discover that you have always been a saint you discover that you always had been a saint but to come to that last stage also there is one step before you know even to that last stage of getting established there at that time when he sees this past he has guilt how does he escape that he tortures he tortures that guilt even it may be minor it tortures how will you escape that when you get this knowledge and see everything is only an expression of god what you are guilty also was his expression you need at that stage for you to evolve you don't get anything that you don't need and this so called evil and good are only your perceptions it's all bhagwan's creation it's not even bhagwan's creation it's all bhagwan how can there be any evil in them if everything is bhagwan how can there be any evil in them? but you suffer from guilt without this knowledge how will you get out of that guilt right how will you get out of your jealousy how will you get out of your insecurity from the other man your anger with all this how can you be peace anger jealousy guilt sorrow how can you be peaceful without this knowledge how can you escape them please see i am not playing with words these are the implication you don't do that thinking so i am doing it for you i am doing that thinking for you 
how will you escape these things without the knowledge? And with them, how can you be peaceful? How will you get out, get, get them away? Whatever you will do for, to get them away is still in the plane of duality and doesn't give you total comfort or peace. They can only be at best escapism. They can at best be escapism. If you want total freedom from all these negative things, you have to get this knowledge and get established in that knowledge. So not only have to get this knowledge, have to get established in that knowledge. That's all your life's mission. All other things are ancillary. Even if you don't do, you will get them because the body is programmed by the cosmic intelligence to through, go through certain experiences you will get them even without your trial. You will get them. You don't have to struggle for that. You have to struggle to get away from that. Because it is your struggle with them creates more agitations and covers the peace that you are. Peace is yourself. In sleep you experience where there is my mind is dormant. When the mind is dormant, in sleep you experience, that's your real being. How do you know something is real? That which is there all the time is real. In waking it is there. Waking is not in sleep. Waking is not in dream. But consciousness is there in waking. Dream is not waking. Dream is not sleeping. But in that dream consciousness is there. Sleep is not waking. Sleep is not dream. But in that sleep consciousness there, that which is there, when everything is there, that which is there, when nothing is there, that is real. That is real. That's called the subject. That's called the subject. So this consciousness is your real being, the ultimate subject. And its nature is peace and bliss. You try to disturb it through your mind. You try to disturb it through your mind. The only solution is to gain this knowledge. That's why it starts there. Fractionally, you see through the senses, through the eyes, the joy that you may get out of palms through the ears, sound, through the tongue, taste. But they are all fractional. You want to get a total bliss. You want to get the total bliss. You have to look behind that very faculty that makes the eyes see, that makes the ears hear, that makes the tongue taste. You have to see. Is it difficult? No. You are seeing. Just see. My eyes, dead body cannot see. What is that that makes the eyes see? It's not so difficult. Intuitively you can feel it. Intuitively you can feel that consciousness. And that's you. In that none of the defects of the eyes, none of the defects of the ears, none of the de defects of the nose are there in that consciousness. All defects belong to the outside world and they are all partial. And through partial things, you cannot get completeness. Nahi adruvaihi dhruvam prapyate. Adruvam, that which is not firm, incomplete. Through that dhruvam, firm and complete, you cannot get. Na akrutaha krutena another upanishad. Akrutaha, that which is not an effect. You cannot get that through efforts. That which is not an effect. You cannot get through efforts which are causes. Right? How will you get it? Yes. Stop all other activity and 
just feel the presence of that stay there gradually every day practicing for a few minutes just staying there and in course of time you will get established in that once you are established in that you understand everything swamiji gurudev says beautifully somebody asked him how is it you are able to answer every question he says if a man is standing on the balcony he can see everything that's going on under him so if you are staying in that experience everything else is clear to you that's how you can answer if you are staying in that balcony everything else going below is clear to you right so all of us have to divert all our pursuits for this therefore the upanishad says atma eva upasinta we should quote only this atman not different things not different things why you please be convinced of this that all of don't try to cheat yourself all of us suffer from guilt it has to be because you are evolved from a lower level when you come to this you are conscious of your lower state so guilt has to be there some form at least i have hurt them right i am hurt i have hurt all this will be there shastra says nahanti nahanyati it neither hurts nor is it hurt because where is the other you are alone out there you alone are there my hand without my hand my life is not complete i need this hand i love it right without my legs i cannot move i love my legs without my eyes i cannot see i love my eyes i love my ears i love my foot my tongue my belly right my liver my kidney all filth but you know all filth you love them right if somebody asks give me your hand you won't do because you love me but doctor says if you don't amputate your hand the other body will not survive you keep because you love that other portion that is you and therefore you are willing to give the hand away so also like now all of them are me i love all of them but when it comes to my survival i will give them all so i love my hands because i love myself it's myself but it's my secondary i love myself therefore even my nails i don't want to leave but when it comes to my survival i give my feet also hands feet everything i give till i can survive last thing eyes that also I, if i had to give i'll give you better survive right so all of them are helping me serving me i get joy from them therefore they are all me but none of them can make you the complete one they are all dear to you because you alone are them in them you are there in the eye you are there in the body ear you are there in the hands you are there in the legs the crude way is because they are helping you that is the first answer but more than that it's not merely they are helping me i alone am there in them 
So also when it says, the Upanishad is going to say that you love all because you love yourself. The first thing that strikes is, I love myself, they serve me, therefore I love. No. No. That is not, that's only a secondary answer. The primary answer is, you, the existence, the consciousness, the bliss that's there in the sleep, which is your essence, is alone there in everybody and you alone are there everywhere. You alone are there in all. Therefore, you try to now fragment it through instruments, try to complete yourself with the other. If I get that, I will be complete. So I want it. I want it. Somebody else doesn't want it. You want that. Why? With that you feel you will become complete. With that you feel you will The car that you have sold, somebody is buying. You don't need it, but others buy it. Right? So therefore, with things, with beings, with family, I go after them because with them I be complete. But none of the finite things can make you complete. None of the finite things can make you complete. And if it is infinite, there cannot be many. It has to be one. So you alone are there in this world. Brahman alone is Sarvam, Sarvam Brahman. Right? You should know that, he says. You should know that. And how do you establish that you are Brahman? You are bliss. Do you like something that gives you sorrow? You like anything that gives you happiness. So, according to that, your love increases to the degree you get the happiness. Your love increases according to the happiness that you get from that. Right? So, what do you love most? That which gives me total happiness. That gives me total happiness I love most. What is it that gives me total happiness? My family. My family. There are two stories Gurudev used to say in the earlier Kindle life also, I think it's there. You are swimming with a child. How long will you swim till the water comes to you? Then what you do? Throw the child out and try to swim. Child was too dear to you. But when it comes to your survival, you throw the child out. So who is dear to you? Child or you? you. Your house is burning. Telephone comes to the office. You come and see the house is burning. Everybody is out, but in their hurry, they forgot the child. Now this man is a rich man. He says, I will give you this cross. Nobody goes. I will give all my property. Nobody goes. He himself, why doesn't he go? If the child is so dear, you can give all your property. Why don't you go? My property is not dear to me compared to my child. I can give. But compared to me, my child is less. So therefore, I give everything, but not myself. So what do I love most? Myself. Why? Because that gives me maximum happiness. Whatever gives maximum happiness, that's what I love. 
whatever gives me maximum happiness, that's what I love. And if I love myself most, that is the source of maximum happiness theory. Should be substantial, logical, given, substantiated to experience. Shruti, Yukti, Anubhava. Shruti given, Yukti given. Anubhava, you were sleep. You can't get greater happiness than in sleep. You were given complete holiday, six months, but you should not sleep. Will you do that? You cannot, because sleep is the thing that gives you all energy, all happiness, so that you can go through all the other rubbish. So in sleep, you alone are there. That is the source of maximum happiness. So therefore, you love everything else because you are there in all of them and they all give you happiness and you, the existence, consciousness, bliss is the essence of everything else. My wife, my husband, my children, I am alone and there in them. Therefore, since I love myself most, I love them too. This is an enlightened man, even an ignorant man without his knowledge, for the same reason he loves, because they, he sees his extension and they give him happiness. But that's a crude thing. They give me happiness, so I love them. But with the knowledge, I am alone there. That is the ultimate. I am alone there. Therefore, Atmanastukamaya Sarvam Priyam Bhavati. For the sake of Atman, the self, everything else becomes the uh, That's the subject matter of this. Before that, I spend uh, days and hours to write notes. They rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. Ultimately, when I come here, I don't tell them. I Let me see what I've written. Ah. So, the source is division. The solution is unity. Gisa Vasya says, Yatra, Yetu Sarvani Bhutani, Akma Eva, Yetu Sarvani Bhutani, Akma Eva Bhu, Vijanataha, Tatra, Kah Shokaha, Kah Moha, where everything becomes your own self. Where is the sorrow? Sorrow comes from the second. Where is delusion? Where everything you become. So if you see yourself everywhere. Where is sorrow? Where is more? And it's very interesting, this Upanishad. Right? Virat, when he created everything. Virat, when he created... Virat is Brahman only, taken a form. That Brahman himself when created everything because now he has taken a body, he feels insecure, fear. Why ignorance that he is that? Split second, he comes back because Virat and Hiranyagarbha have got one boon. They will never forget their nature. But split second, it happens to them also. Bhagavata, there are one or two uh, moments when Krishna got himself uh, nervous. Balarama got. It happens because you have taken the body. You have taken the body. Body dharma. So this Virat became nervous when he uh, created that. And then what happens is, he thinks, Eka Aki Vibhed. Eka Aki, if you are alone, you are afraid. Eka Aki, Eka Aki Vibhed, and Eka Aki Naramate, he doesn't enjoy boredom. Eka Aki Vibhed, fear. Eka Aki Naramate, he doesn't enjoy. So what? Now he wants a second thing. And then what? Dvayad bhavati bhayam. Because of the second you have fear. If you are alone there, there is no fear. When ekati vibhedi, this virat uses this. I am alone there, what is there? Fear and fear is. Because knowledge is used. When he created, he alone was there. 
subconscious mind, there was fear. Then he sees and says, I am alone, I am there. What am I to be afraid? Therefore, there was no fear. And when he quotes other things, he becomes more insecure. Dvaya bhavati bhayam. Out of the second fear comes. Therefore, advayam eva amrutam advayam eva shanti ki. Shantam shivam advaitam chaturtham manyante. Chaturtham turiya is what? Shantam is what? Shivam is what? Advaitam mandukya. Shantam shivam advaitam chaturtham. What is chaturtham? Four. What are the three? Body, mind, intellect. Its essence is the chaturdham. Past, present, future. Its essence is the chaturdham. Avuma. Its essence is the chaturdham. Chaturdham is called Turiya. Bhurbhuvasvaha. Its essence is chaturdham. Right? So you have to see the Chaturthi, Chaturtha, beyond the tree and the essence of the tree. See, I'm not playing with words. You have to meditate on these words. Chaturtha is beyond the tree. Essence of the tree runs through the tree. Chaturtha is beyond the tree. Essence of the tree runs through the tree. Even if you are worried, you are worried because of the consciousness. Right? Oh, I have problems. Oh, I have, I am, I, 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 I have physical problems, emotional problems, intellectual problems, social problems. Are you are living for the problems. Congratulate yourself. You are living, you know. Congratulate <laughs> Right. So that is Chaturdham. Yekaki Vibhir. If you are alone, fear. With knowledge, it, it can go. Yekaki Naramate. He doesn't enjoy boredom. So Dvayam. But Dvaya Bhavati Bhayam. So what do you do? See all the multiplicity as one, that one me to be me, that one to be me, me to be in all. All the multiplicity, right, is me. All the multiplicity is me. And this me is in all. Right? This has to be understood. You have heard it. What you have heard? You got information. If you do reflection, you will understand. Srebrana manana. Then if you try to experience it, it is nidhityasana. Srebrana manana, nidhityasana. This common factor, the, the subject has to be formed in you through analysis. So, yekai ken upasati nasa veda akrishnaha hi esha He, one who seeks this Brahman in each, the eyes, the ears and all that. Nasa veda, he doesn't know. Akrishna Eva, he is incomplete. He sees God in the eyes or ears or in this deity, that deity. Right? Food, farms, or the family, office, business, money, music, games. If you think that is complete, it's not complete. Nasa Veda. Right? You have to get the completeness and therefore 
Atmaeva Upasita seek that Atman alone. Once you get the Atman, you are not solving all your problems. You see the problems are not there. That's why learned people say problems are dissolved, not solved in knowledge. Problems are dissolved, not solved in knowledge. So this only solution for all our problems to get rid of, I repeat those words because you have to do manana, your guilt, your fear, your jealousy, your anger, your sorrow, not what you acquire, not what you do, but through your knowledge, through your knowledge. I have committed 122 murders in my dream. On waking up, can anybody arrest me? I have done several mistakes, sins, things in my life. That was different. He is dead. Now I am different. Law can arrest because the body is sin. But I am established. All that is gone. Maya, Bhagavan's Leela. He conducted all that to, for me to come to this state. Now I am not, that is that fellow is not there here. I am here. And don't also curse your past. That's what brought you here. That's what brought you here. Don't have guilt. Don't have anger. Don't have sorrow. All that will go only when you see God alone is there. And that God is me. And that God is in all. Shantam Shivam Advaitam. I said, how does it happen? Prapancho Pashamanam. Where all the prapancha, panch, all of them subside. What is prapancha? Pra, specially. Pancha, five. Everything in this world is prapancha because they come from the five elements. Tanmatras. Tanmatras, five. Karmendriyas, five. Jnanendriyas, five. Pranas, five. All pancha 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 prapancha. Prapancho pashamanam. All these five subside. There what is what remains is nothing. It's not nothing. It is shantam, shivam, advaitam, chaturtham. Shantam, shivam, advaitam, chaturtham. Right. And to say this, in this Upanishad itself, this same thing will come. But Taitriya is simpler to understand. But the same thing comes. This Upanishad gives the essence of every Upanishad. Almost in the same language. Especially Isha, he takes the verses itself from there. Isha. But otherwise, so the, to explain this split happiness and complete happiness, he says, I will put Taitriya, not here. When I come to that text, I'll do here because that's easier to understand. There was a youth who was good, very nice fellow. Adhyapakaha, educated. Asisto, drudisto, varistaha. He has everything that he desires and drudista, firm, healthy, balista. That's here. If Prithvi Vitta Purnasya, this entire world is filled with wealth. And if he has that, Yeko Manushananda, that is one unit of human happiness. 
ते शत मनुष्यानंद स एक मनुष्य गंधर्वा आनंद सूत्रीय से काम Hundred times this is one Manushya Gandharva Sananda. That is God for this Rotriya, for the man who knows this. Akama Hataha, he is not disturbed by desires. He has that. Because you think, if I get this knowledge, no use. I can't go and enjoy ice cream. I can't enjoy masala dosa. I can't go to uh, PBR. The theaters. I can't get corn pop at two hundred rupees, right? I miss all that. He says you don't miss it. That's what he says. This one manushya gandharva is included in that manushya gandharva, and when you become deva gandharva, manushya ananda, manushya gandharva ananda are all included in that. When you get brahma ananda, you are masala dosa ananda and ice cream ananda are all there included in that. You don't miss anything. You don't miss anything, right? If you don't understand that. Then you are misunderstanding. <laughs> you don't miss anything, right? So this atma has to be known. That is subject matter. Now I shall straight go into the text. Enough of bluffing. My bluff is more important than the truth. You know why? How will you see God without falsehood? Can you see God without a form? Form is falsehood. You understand? Therefore, He takes avatar. How will you see space without the walls? Right? How will you see water without a bottle? So all truth can only be seen with untruth covering it. But you can experience inside. But if you want to see outside, you need it. So my untruth, my bluff, you need it. Huh. Right. I, I think I told you the story that Yagnavalka had two wives, Katyayani and Maitreyi. So Maitreyi, it is Bhova to Yagnavalka, Udyasyantva are aham asma, asma sthana dasmi. Uddhyasyanva, I am about to get away, right, from this place. So I am dividing my property between you and Katyayani. Katyayani said, good, thank you. Maitriyani, he is talking now. Hanta te anaya katyayanyata karavani ti. Let me finish this property between you and Katyayani. Sahovacha Maitreyi, Maitreyi asked, Yennu ma imam iyam bhago sarva punivi vittena purna syat katham tena amritam syamiti. 
Sir, you said you are dividing the property between two of us. This whole world is filled up with money. I quoted Taikriya, same sentence is coming here, right? If I get that, will I become immortal? Tena, Amrita, will I become immortal? Will I escape death? Not go watch a Yagno Yagno said no chance. Yatha Yataiva Upukarana Vata Jivita Tayeva say Jivitam Sya Amrta Kwasyadu Nashaspi Vite Na See Upukarana things which help you in life. There are Upkaranas for a living. But that is not immortality like Upakarana. You have several things. Right? You, you have several things, Upakarana, right? Gadgets. That's all for living. You don't get immortality through that. Sahovacha Maitreyi, Maitreyi asks, Yena aham ma amrita syam, by which I do not become immortal. Kimaham tena kuryam, what am I going to do with that? You say, I am dividing and leaving. And with what you have given, I don't become immortal. What am I going to do with that? Finally, if it's going to make me die, with that I die, without that I die, then why? What is special about it? With that I die, without that I die, what is special about it? Right? You are going to forest, you know, because you have known something immortal. And for that, further to contemplate, you are going. What you know, Veda, Tadeva that alone you tell me and you. What you know about this immortality, Tadeva. You tell me and go. Sahovacha Yagna Valkya, Yagna Valkya said, Priyavatare Nasati Priyavasa say, Yehi Aswa Vyakyasyamite Vyachakchana Syatume Nidigyasa Sweti. So, See, here comes all. See, I, I will explain. You meditate. I will explain. You meditate. Information is given. Knowledge is taken. What the teacher says is only information. You have to reflect on that. Right? So he says, I should, my three, now that I am leaving the house, I will tell you a secret. This is the very reason I love you more. Because you are intelligent. You see, you, you, you were not satisfied with my money. You are asking the right question. Right? Therefore, you have been dear to me. I will now explain. My duty to explain to you. Meditate. Nididhyā saswā. Saho vāca. He said, Nava are patyuhu kamaya patihi. Husband is not dear to you because the husband is dear. Right? Patihi patihi priyobhavati. Atmanastu kamaya patihi priyobhavati. Husband is dear to you because you, you love yourself. He is, yourself is dear to you. I told you. The superficial meaning is because he gives you happiness. No, there is something more than that. The real meaning is you alone are there in him. You alone are there in him. Nava are jaya, jaya e kama, jaya priya bhavati. Wife is not dear to you because of the wife. Atmanas to kama, jaya priya bhavati. For the sake of himself. Everything becomes dear. Nava are putra na kama putra bhavati. Children are not dear to you because you love the children. They are dear to you because you, are, you love yourself. 
आत्मनुस्तुकामाय पुत्र प्रिया न वारे वित्त कामाय वित्त प्रियम भवती नॉट फॉर द सेक ऑफ मनी यू लव मनी एंड बिकॉज इट यू सी यूर ओन सेल्फ एक्सटेंशन देर ऑल्सो राइट यू लव इट एंड इट गिवस यू हैपीनेस नवा नवा अरे ब्रह्मण कामाय ब्रह्म प्रियम भवती आत्मनस्तु कामाय ब्रह्म मीन्स ब्राह्मण राइट नवा अरे क्षत्र से क्षत्रिय कामाय क्षत्र प्रियम भवती नवा अरे लोकाना कामाय लोका लोका वेरियस वर्ड्स यू नो पूर्व स्व इत्यादि All those words, Pitru Loka, Swarga Loka, and all that—it's not for that sake you love them, because you love your sir. Nava are Deva and Kama gods, Krishna, Rama, and all that. You love them not because you love them, because you love your sir. Nava are Bhuta and Kama objects, elements. You don't love them for their sake, because you love your sir. एवरीथिंग एल्स इज डियर टू यू नॉट बिकॉज दे आर डियर टू यू बिकॉज दे आर युवर्स आत्मनस्तुकाय कामाय सर्पम आत्मा वा अरे द्रष्टव्य श्रोतव्य मंतव्य निधि याचितव्य देर फो दिस आत्म यू शुड हैव ए फर्स्ट ब्रॉड मिशन द्रष्टव्य Shrotavya, you should listen about that. Mantavya, you should reflect. Nididhyasatavya, you should meditate. Maitreyi, Atmanava, Are, Darshanena, Shravanena, Matya, Vijnana, Idam, Sarvam, Viditam. When you listen, meditate and uh, reflect and meditate, you become the Atman, you get everything. ब्रह्मतम ब्रह्म आत्मनो ब्राह्मण इफ यू सी योर सेल्फ टू बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम हिम ही कीप देर इज ऑलरेडी अ गैप यू क्रिएटेड सो ही रिजेक्ट्स यू ए क्षत्रिय आल्सो यू सी डिफरेंट ही रिजेक्ट्स यू एवरीथिंग व्हेन यू सी देम सेल्फ टू बी डिफरेंट दे रिजेक्ट देन ही सेज हाउ एवरीथिंग इज वन Beautiful few examples he gives. Ya yata dundube hanya manusia na bahkian cipdan cipnya ag cipnya gerhana ya dundube isti gerhane na dundu biaga atas sewa cipdo kerji dah. When dundube drum is beaten, various sounds come in drum according to the beating. Different notes come, different sounds come, but When a drum is beaten, you know all that is drum. All that is, you don't think when drum is beaten, all that is flute. All that is even rudangam percussion, because that is also percussion. But you know that is drum. That's not rudangam. That's not tower, right? So, the general note of the drum is there in all the varied notes. the general note of the drum is there in all the varied notes similarly na yada shankasya can't you blow right you get different notes but you know it's all can't same thing veena you may get different tunes but you know it's all veena similarly from this one atman different names different forms different sounds can come you know all that is this atman you see that because without that you cannot see the differences also you can't miss it just like you can't miss the general sound of the drum general sound of the veena you can't miss this general atman in all the false world also so that which is common in all you identify that which is common in all you identify It's some beautiful statement from the book alone i wrote 
because of immanence, Brahman in everything, the gold in ornaments, such in all effects or modifications of the cause. All effects, all various sounds are made with modifications of the one essential thing. If a thing cannot be perceived apart from something else, that is the essence of that thing. How do you know something is essence? You cannot leave that and see. You can't leave gold and see earring, chain and bangle. You can't see, uh, uh, if you don't see water, you can't see wave bubble and all that. So, if something you, you don't see, when that is not seen, that is its essence. If something, when you don't see, you don't see anything, that's its essence. So, uh, then, you know, uh, the fire example he gives, where, you know, the various smokes and all that. So, and then uh, the, the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, all these or like the breadth of the infinite reality. The various Vedas are also from his breath, Bhagavan's breath. They are like breadth of the age. So now he has told how the multiplicity essence is this. Now he is going to tell how these all this multiplicity seek this self. No, that is. How in everything this is there. Now, how everything is rushing towards this. All our pursuits, everything is rushing for this ultimate happiness. He says, Sa yatha sarva, 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 samudram ekayanam. All the waters can rest only when they reach the ocean. Oh, my gutter water, will it be? Yes, your gutter water also is vaporized. It becomes the cloud, rains somewhere and reaches the ocean. All water will reach the ocean. All names and forms will reach this self. Yevam sarvesham gandhanam nasike. All smell. All smell. Ekayanam. They all try, try to reach the nose. Different smell reach the nose. Sarveshanam, rasanam, different tastes reach the tongue. See, similarly, all different names and forms can rest only when they reach the cell. Sarveshanam, visarganam, payuhu, yekayanam, yevam, sarveshanam, abhanam, path. Right, okay. You can study. I have given you the list. When you study, you will understand. If you mix salt in water, from the top it tastes only salt, from the middle it will taste only salty. From the end, in Chandukya, it is dramatized very well. This is same thing is dramatized very well. Similarly, Brahman is there anywhere you After attaining this oneness, he says, Yete bhyo bhute bhyo samuttaya all these multiplicity and differences, once they reach that single source, they are all lose their identity. Everything is gone. Like, you know, all your dream characters go into you, all waves and bubbles go into the ocean. Right? So, everything when they reach there, they lose their consciousness. Then Maitri asked, for this uh, Brahma Vidya, I lose everything. I lose my consciousness. I lose my... This is confusing, she says. He says it's not confusing to think. To think. They lose their... They lose their 
individualities, but they become one. Individualities are lost, but the essence is not lost. Yatrahi doita meru bhavati tadetara hitaran dikhrati. Where there are, there is two, you smell something else other than you, as though it is different. Where there is two, tadetara hitaram pachyati. You see other thing to be different. Itaram jigrati, itaram pashyati. You see duality, right? Where there is this thing, itaram, itaram, itaram abhi vadati, you talk as though the one you are listening is different from you. Itaram, itaram manute, you think as though some, something else is different. Itaram, itaram vignati, right? And then he concludes, tat yatrava asya sarvam atmaiva bhu. That kena kim jigre, where everything else has become Atman, who is to smell who? That kena kim jigre, who is to smell who? That kena vijaniya, who is to know who? Yena idam sarvam vijane ti, tam kena vijane, vignata armare kena vijaniya ti. You have to know the knower, not the known. The knower, vignataram, the subject. And in that, all differences are this thing. It's not that you lose everything. You try to strike at the essence. You try to strike at the essence. With that, fourth is Vola, right? The most important thing. And it's eight four. I'm also closing, right? We will see. Next week, there is no class. Because Mitranandji's Yagna is there. Swami Mitranandji's Yagna is there. Please, uh, people uh, online also, please listen. Next week, because Swami Mitranandji's Yagna is there, there won't be class. The next class will be on the 7th September. The next class will be on the 7th September. Okay. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnam Udachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyonama Hari Om Thank you God bless you all Narayana Hari Om Uncle Thank you Hari Om Hari Om Om Shri